All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Gores Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers. Welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. But before we jump into this chart, yes, it's pretty bearish. We're going to jump into some details about that in just a moment. But I want to announce to everyone that has overlooked it or hasn't had a chance to see it or isn't aware that I am with my website up and running i've been asked by many investors hey do you have a members group and so forth so i launched my website investfortomorrow.com i will put the link down below there's an intro video explaining a little bit about the purpose and goal of this whole entire website which is to build a community of investors where we can all learn and grow together and there's going to be stock picks monthly weekly stock picks there's also going to be a daily watch list a gathering of investors is where all investors will be able to come in and rendezvous and share their knowledge and experiences while maintaining obviously their integrity and honesty in the platform. And then this is in addition to learn more about other areas of finance and investing, which I'm going to start off with how to manage the intangible, which I'm going to talk about credit and credit score. So anybody that wants to learn more about that, that will be there as well. And then there's the members options. And if you divide these by 30, which there's 30 days in a month, and this is a monthly cost, that's what you will be paying or contributing um, per day. And I believe that once this grows, I mean, right now it's a small community and I'm thankful for all of you guys that have joined already. And I also want to say thank you for all of you guys that have stopped by and checked it out because I'm going to put the link down below. But when you divide that number per day in the long term, once there is a community and it grows over time, there's going to be so much information you're going to have access to, plus the weekly and monthly picks and the daily picks based off of their momentum and all the other cool stuff that I look forward to sharing more about investing and finance. So that's completely optional. I just wanted to announce it so you guys are aware. And once again, thank you guys so much for those of you that have joined and thank you for those of you that have taken the time to stop by and see what the website's about. I will start posting soon. I haven't posted yet. I will start in two weeks. So I just want you guys to be aware. I know it kind of looks like there's nothing there, but the website's gonna start getting posts soon and it's gonna be developing over time. So I'm so excited for that and for the community that we're going to build. So here we are with SNDL. SNDL fell. I stated yesterday that it's been in a sideways channel here and the bulls are doing really well holding themselves up. But I was a little bit worried that the fact that the bulls been holding themselves up has been great. But they haven't been able to pull themselves up further away from the 50 day moving average. If they weren't able to go ahead and accomplish that, this was going to possibly break through support and have some trouble staying above the 50 day moving average. It would start to work its way down. It certainly did. Now, this wasn't just the bears quote unquote right like people selling taking profits and uncertainty this was also due to the fact that there was a 200 million self registration issue right that they issued up in security so sundial growers had filed for a self registration to issue up to 200 million in securities and you could see that again here and you could see that again here like that was the top news for SNDL and that's mainly what has caused that slight drop here. So it wasn't just people selling off, taking profits, uncertainty. It was also due to the fact of that news, which then kicked in to investors saying, okay, I'm going to just take my profits now due to the fact of uncertainty. But it wasn't just that it was also that issuing and it brought itself back up to the point where it ran up to 79 cents. So you can see that the bulls are trying here to hold this up, but the bears are definitely turning this down. The lowest point that it reached was down here at 6097. I'd write that down. That's the second lowest point we've seen this reach. And the lowest point is down here at 5837, which I talked about yesterday. And I would still keep that number in mind. But now let's look at our new 50 day moving average, our new support and our new resistance based off the last couple hours of the chart. 
This is in bearish territory now, so I want every single investor to be aware of that and pay close attention to this because right now we have that lowest point down here at 58.37. That's one point to keep in mind. And then now we have here a new second lowest point, which is 60.94 to 61 cents, give or take. So if you want to round it up to 61 cents, you're more than welcome to. But in that area, that's our next support level before this continues to break through newer lows. But before getting there, there's a support level they need to break through within the last couple hours of the day that we see here. And then we're going to talk about our resistance. And the 50-day moving average is 74.84. I want every single investor to write that down and be aware of that. It's 74.84. Now, we're currently sitting at 67.70. And if the bears are able to continue to pull this down and bring this down to newer lows, what they're going to try to do is break through support. And our first support level is 65.21. 6521 if that gets broken through this could be on its way to newer lows pulling further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction and we're already in bearish territory so if the support gets broken through we are just getting deeper into bearish territory giving more leverage to the bears and getting further away from the 50-day moving average so i want every single investor to be aware of this and i want to emphasize this we're already in bearish territory. If it breaks through 65.21, we're getting deeper into bearish territory. So that's something to watch. Now, I'm not saying that the bulls can't reappear and bring this back up. That is possible. But right now, we're in bearish territory. And if this breaks through support, it's just getting deeper down into bearish territory. And we need to watch it closely. We need to go ahead and observe this and watch the behavior of this stock and we have the lowest point reached in the day as well to look at at the 61 cent mark so you also have that window to see how this stock is behaving between 65.21 and 61 cents and how quickly is it moving to newer lows or are the bulls trying to reappear to bring this back up now our resistance is 74.93 if 74.93 gets broken through and turn into a support the bulls have accomplished breaking through the 50-day moving average to get back into bullish territory and they're breaking through the first resistance but this is way too close to call that the bulls have gained control they need to turn 74.93 into a support and break away from it to reach newer highs but they are really going to want to break through this highest point here at 79.62 so 79.62 is the highest point reached and is the next resistance level in bullish territory this is way too close there'll be a big tug of war in this area or anywhere above that slightly so 7493 is just the beginning catalyst in bullish territory that needs to be turned into a support to let us know that the bulls are working their way up deeper into bullish territory and then they're going to have to aim for this up here at this point but right now we need to pay close attention to how this is reacting if it breaks through support and also if it works its way back up does it turn 7493 into a support to pull away from it and start getting deeper into bullish territory to reach newer highs and newer resistance levels as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that i post Share this with your friends and community, and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watched this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.